West policy on Syria, regime change, is not wrong in its details. It is wrong in its fundamentals. It is wrong root and branch. It violates the UN Charter. It violates international law. The U.S. is bombing parts of Syria without the consent of a legitimate government. That violates international law. The sanctions violate international law. I won't dwell on it because Marilyn and, and uh, Donna have already discussed that. Uh, I think out of our trip uh, flow certain tasks. I think it is the task of the U.S. anti-war movement to unite around a different vision than what it has united around thus far. Thus far, it has united around a feeble vision that is partly false, that partly accepts the dominant State Department corporate media narrative. Uh, we must directly and forthrightly challenge U.S. policy if we are to shift U.S. public opinion. Uh, some organizations, alas, buy into the dominant mainstream media narrative. They have not covered themselves in glory by so doing. This is a dangerous moment. Without mentioning names, one of the leading, apparently the leading candidate for president is surrounded by military advisors who are talking about no-fly zones, which means air war against the Syria's, Syrian Air Force and the Russians, or boots on the ground, which means U.S. invasion. Um, if we're not frightened by that talk, we should be frightened by that talk. This is a dangerous moment. We have to change the basic U.S. policy. We need to have a different kind of anti-war movement, and we must begin to shift U.S. public opinion. Thank you.